Um, they're number one in the nation. Uh, I mean, they were kind of. I actually wanted to play quarterback, so I ran the option in, in high school. Really? I was like, but I mean, no one wanted me to play quarterback. I was a linebacker, but I still like. I kind of followed them because they ran the option, and that's why I ran in high school. And they were a successful team, and um, you know, the fans were probably the biggest appeal to me going to Nebraska because they're so rabid and so involved and they care so much about it and they're so much they're so passionate so what was so special about Nebraska was the tradition that, that you that you feel and sense when you when you play there um, and uh, the kind of the mantle of responsibility that you take on when you become a black shirt and and guys before you that have you know been successful in the league and have uh, won national championships and there's just a lot of there's a lot of, uh, of you know tradition and, and uh, I think that you can kind of feel that when you when you become a part of it, and that's what made it special for me. Uh, Bo has a great energy, you know. He's obviously very knowledgeable, but he's he. You can tell he's passionate about about what he does and about the success of the team and about the guys who are playing for him. And um, if you feel like the coach is, is invested in you, not only as a player but as a person, I think that you know, guys, guys, uh, it it draws the best out of players, and that's definitely uh, what you can see he's he's been doing with uh, the program. Uh, I mean, obviously. Uh, you know, I have a keen eye on the defense, and I thought they had a, we had a great defense last year. Uh, and building on that is going to be, I think, key to be successful. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure, you know, who's who the recruiting classes are and how that's looking, but I think we got to, you know, cut our turnovers down a little bit on offense and, and you know, get a little more proficient on that side of the ball. But, uh, you know, if we can balance the squads out, if our offense plays a little more like our defense, I think we'll probably win a lot more games. Um, I definitely keep up with them, and, and uh, you know, it was nice, you know, having them be so good this year. and, and uh, he gives me a little more you know, bragging rights in the locker room. <laughs> I actually played with him. Uh, he was there when I was there, and he's a great guy. You know, I think he'll be successful in the league. He's got a good motor. Uh, he's a hard-working dude, and uh, it's going to be fun to watch him. Yeah, I mean, you, you, there's a lot of talented guys that come in there, and so you, you never know how the path that guys are going to take, you know, as they develop. And uh, But uh, I wasn't surprised that he was, uh, you know, as successful as he's been. You know, I feel like fans are great, really. Uh, they're passionate, and they really care about their players, and, and I think they really embrace guys who work hard and, and – who, who care about the team and who put the team first and um, you know it's a great it's a great city to play on. You kind of those roles are kind of developed by by your play on the field and and the guys in the team are around um, you know we see each other playing more than anyone else does you know we, see, we practice with each other every day so uh, I think that's um, a role that I'm comfortable with and I think the guys are comfortable with and it's not uh, it's not um, you know anything that needs to be like Really reestablish or anything like that. Uh, it's. I mean, I think it's done. I mean, uh, it went well. Uh, I feel great. Had you not been put on injured reserve last year, could you have contributed to the Eagles in December? Oh, I mean, uh, you know, who knows? Uh, that's not like the reality of what happened. Um, but yeah, I felt pretty good. Um, obviously, I feel great now. So uh, we'll never know, I guess. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's for breast cancer. So um, I actually lost an aunt to breast cancer uh, growing up, and my Grandma passed away from ovarian cancer, so it's something that's kind of important to me. And uh, me and uh, Brent Selleck are actually having a little uh, little Twitter competition. Um, that's going to be it's going to be. I don't want to spill the beans because we're going to drop what it's going to be about, but it's along those lines. It's along the charity lines, definitely, and uh, uh, it's gonna, it should be a fun thing this year.